<laughs> Ladies, we are reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> what? Ladies, we are reunited and it feels so good. We've read through all your comments and once again, we'll be sniffing and rating some of the most highly requested perfumes. Are you ready, bro? Let's do it. Cue, Cue the, the music. music. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping by. Ladies, as you can see, we have a special guest back on the channel today and Giacomo is finally here. He's been away for the past five months in Sicily, probably tanning or eating some amazing uh, Sicilian Italian food. Oh, yes. And I'm not blaming him at all. <laughs> tough life, uh, tough life. <laughs> you guys have been requesting for him nonstop until this day and we had to get him back. So Giacomo! Thank you, Thank you very much. <laughs> Technology made it happen. That's amazing. <laughs> for those who don't know, here next to me, we have Anthony from Canada. He's a familiar face to the channel by now. And I'm so excited to have both guys here with me today to do another sniff and rate for you yes! guys. Yes! <laughs> I love these. I'm so excited. Giacomo, can you please tell us what you have been up to? What, what's going on there? Where are you? Well, as you said, I'm in Sicily, uh, south of Italy, back to my family home after so long. As you said, tanning, eating good food, but at the same time, you know, doing what I do, which is playing music, writing new music, uh, planning to do some new stuff for this Amazing. Year. So it feels great. Amazing. And also, ladies, I will leave Giacomo's YouTube channel and Instagram and Anthony's down below. So please go and follow them and show them the support they deserve. Thank you. Guys, before we get into this video, I just want to give a huge shout out over to the people at Fragrance Deacon Boutique because without them, we wouldn't be able to do this video. This is true, guys. So Fragrance Decant Boutique is basically a small company that um, they make samples like, like this ones or decants. So it's basically try before you buy. Sometimes you don't want to shell out money for a full bottle. You want to try the fragrance. Especially during COVID, a lot of us can't do that right now. Exactly. So companies like these are essential and they hooked it up. They sent 10 samples all the way to Sicily for Giacomo so he could join us for this video finally. Big thanks to them for helping us out and uh, definitely check them out if you're looking for, they have so many fragrances. Anything you need and you want a sample, you should definitely check them out. Also, this company was kind enough to offer a $50 gift card that can be spent on their website and we will give it to one lucky subscriber that I will personally pick. Wow. So guys, behave <laughs> and uh, stay tuned until the end of the video to know how you can enter the giveaway. All right, guys, so today I have 10 women's perfumes here with me. And as always, you know the spiel. I want you to give me your honest opinions. Always. Whatever you think of the fragrance, whatever comes to your brain, and then totally. rate them from one to 10. Got it. Sounds good. I am so excited. I right hope now. we find a 10, a number 10 today. I hope. Uh, man. I, I think we're going to find a 10 today, ladies. Yes, let's I, do it. I feel it in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> let's start with fragrance number one. Giacomo, you can pick number one. Here you go, Anthony. Got it. Thank you. Smell them, guys, and let me know what you think. Mmm, mm. fresh. That's how I want to start. Fresh. That's how I want to start 2021. <laughs> fresh. Okay. Exactly. That's, That's a good start. Giacomo, since you're the special guest, let's. Uh, I'm going to let you go first and, and speak your mind. As I said, it's very fresh. I have to say that I like it. You are the wizard of the fragrance, so you probably can pick all the small things in it. But <laughs> again, it's kind of like fruity uh maybe like citrusy but like slightly there is like a, a little hint of i don't want to say lemon but something of the same family yeah in the in the past videos we know how I reacted to the lemon <laughs> perfume, lemon so. love lemon love lemon man <laughs> uh, I like it. I okay. really like it. Yeah, wow. I, I agree completely with what Giacomo said. It's fresh, it's fruity, it's floral. I find it to be a kind of light. Mm -hmm. There has to be jasmine in here. Mm -hmm. That I can smell. I, I, I think I've become a master of picking out jasmine. jasmine. I don't know why, Man, but... The jasmine, jasmine is back. We love jasmine. <laughs> yeah, we love jasmine. Maybe a, a, a bit 
slightly powdery too. Okay. I feel like this is gonna be everyday, just perfume, spring, summer, perfect signature scent. Yes. Where this is shiny, shiny, like the sun. Shiny, I like that. Yeah, a little, a yeah. little sparkle to it. Okay. It's, it's just nice, it's pleasant, you're not gonna offend anyone. Every day, spritz and go. Can't go wrong, I like it too. Okay, and what's your rating, Anthony? So usually for this kind, where it's just nice, but nothing special, I go seven, but I kind of like it a bit more. I'm gonna go 7.5. Okay, and what about you, Giacomo? Actually, I was going to say 7.5 as well. I would have given a little bit more if the scent was a little bit more present, but as I said, I really like it. It's light, might not be for special occasions, but as you said, you know, your to go every day. So yeah. again, seven and a half for seven. me as well. Yeah, okay. it's great. So Gucci Guilty EDT got 7.5 from both of them. Anything on my face? No. All right, the gentleman, pick up number two. Here you go, Anthony. Thank you, it's on and this side. Yes, and while you're at it, I'm gonna start eating my snacks. Going healthy today. Oh. Oh. Mm. Giacomo, you like it? Yeah, are we talking again like sexy perfumes or like in general? Because this one for me is sexy. Man, wow. if you think it's sexy, you say it's sexy. Giacomo, go I ahead. It's... It, it seems like you're inspired right now. I'll let you go ahead again. I am, wow. I also like this one. It, this one is a little bit stronger than the previous one. Yes. I can feel, uh, again, floral. If I have to talk colors, the one would have been like white and Yellow, this one is more like a, like a violet. Mm. I don't know, it gives me like a violet vibe. Okay. We should go for the dress again, maybe <laughs> later. Violet dress. <laughs> wow, I love it. I would say it's very sophisticated as well. Let me see that. Very sophisticated. Nice. Wow, Andrea is getting interested. She's like, I want to smell some of that. I, I'm interested. <laughs> Man, I disagree completely for some reason. Oh, wow. That's insane. This smells fight oh it smells like a <clears throat> old lady to me okay i agree i agree mm. on that it's very heavy i mean heavier than the last one for sure it's floral but i get like a like a grandma floral mm. and i also get like a wow like a heavy sweetness that i'm not a fan of like a sticky sweetness mm. i don't know something in there is like sharp and it's it's putting me off i i really don't like this one okay you well, i mean i feel i feel the sweetness in it but it's not bothering me as like previous perfumes that we smell right when i was like super you know yeah against it this is not overly sweet but for some mm. reason i feel like i would get annoyed if i smelled this on a woman like too much. I, I'm gonna have to agree with that. I don't know, that's mm. just me. But we usually agree, Giacomo, but I don't know. On this one, I don't know, I, I like it. Not as much as the other one, but I think it's good. Okay, yeah. so Anthony, what's your rating? I'm not a fan, that's like a three out of 10 what? for me. <gasps> Whoa. I'm not okay. feeling it, I'm okay. not feeling it. And Giacomo? <laughs> I will give a 6.5 for the sophistication of it. Oh. I think it's very sophisticated. Okay, nice. so Giacomo gave Jean-Paul Coltier Scandal is 6.5 and Anthony, you gave it a... 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. It's a scandal that you didn't <laughs> like that. I'm so scandalous. <laughs> Let's grab number 3 and see what this fragrance does to you guys. <clears throat> Here you go. I hope it does something great. I hope so. Mm, this is my mm. no-no. Is your what? No-no. Your no-no. Okay. It's double no. Oh my god. All right, so it's pleasant. Again, I get a strong jasmine. Mm -hmm. Very floral. Nice. But it's not like a classy jasmine. It's a classy, it's not a playful jasmine. I like that. It's classy. Oh, you like that? I think it's not classy, actually. Oh, you said it's not classy. I don't think it's a classy jasmine. It's not like a pure jasmine coming at you. It's like mm -hmm. it has to break through other do, things. Do you find it to be like a cheap jasmine? I don't know, it's, uh, I think there is too much going on in this perfume. This kind of reminds me of Pure Poison by Dior. Let me see. Because of that jasmine, I kind of get those kind of vibes. Okay. I don't know why. I didn't get the same wow factor that I got with Pure Poison. Obviously, you guys know I, I love that one. Yeah. I think that one was more balanced. 
Yeah, maybe something about it. This is mm. a little bit soapy too. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. I think yes. I think there is a lot going on in this one in terms of smells and maybe I, w I actually want the jasmine just coming out strong. Mm. And yeah. here it's kind of overpowered by other things and also the soapy taste that you get maybe after a second. It's like a party and uh, you know jasmine wants just to leave from the party. <laughs> It's like, I'm sorry, I'm here. It's like, I'm out. Like, there's I'm too much out. going on in here. It, it's, it's not terrible, though, I will say. It's just a, a, wooden, a wooden bite. All right, Giacomo, what's your rating? I'm going to give a four to this one. Ooh. Damn. I'm sorry. You okay. know, I'm I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give a six point five. Okay. You know, it, it's it's not as good as the first one, but I, I kind of like it. It's I find it classy. Okay. Yeah. So Anthony gave Ellie Sab Le Parfum a six point five out of ten, and Giacomo gave it a four out of ten. So Giacomo, where are the snacks at, man? Man, I brought the Italian snacks. I don't know if Sicilian snacks. Oh, oh snap! <laughs> because we're in a lockdown right now, I can't really leave the house. Oh man! So man, we're uh, we got we got trail mix today. How boring is that? We got gotta be healthy, That's, guys. Of course, of course. <laughs> man. Keep your nose healthy. Keep my nose healthy. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to, to number four. Okay, number four. There you go. <clears throat> Thank you. Let your nose lead the way, guys. Come on. No. You what? don't like that? No, I don't like it. You don't like this? I don't. Ooh. Man, if number two for you was old old woman, uh -huh. like this one is like, I don't know, like an ancient. <laughs> really? Uh, man, I don't know. This smells like my grandma living room. <laughs> man, I love this one. Wow. What's going on? We're like disagreeing on everything. I, I think, think Techno Sicily- Technology. I think Technology, I've man. Changed. I have changed. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the same. Wow. Oh, man. Uh, okay, I really like this one. This is darker mm -hmm. than the rest, much darker. It's sweet, but it's like uh, not overly sweet. I get cake chocolatey vibe. Yeah. With some florals in there, a little bit powdery, and there's like something addictive in there. Okay. I can see this like a night out. This is nighttime perfume, yes. I think. Absolutely. It's a little bit darker, kind of ballsy. Mm -hmm. I would say like you're gonna Maybe grab too some much. attention. You think it's too ballsy, huh? <laughs> yeah, like you go out to dinner and like a woman comes with this. Like, what am I going to eat now? That's it. Like, I, I had dinner. I don't know. That's true. It, it's quite gourmandy. I would say edible. Right? Oh man, if a girl wore this, what, what, I'd be what? like, girl. Yeah. What would you do? What would you I'd do? I'd be like, girl, you smell like a snack, and I'm starving. Oh, that's what I would man. say. Man, Same I can't over. leave for nah. four or five months, and that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Giacomo, what do you, what do you think? So you don't like it? No, I don't. Why? What? Do you, I agree. You said it smells edible. Yeah, I mean, there is a lot of like food component in it. I I get the chocolate. Which is kind of nice mm. um, yeah. because I love chocolate, but at the same time, it gives me like this kind of old school vibe, you know, like those perfumes that you spray with the pump. Ooh. Okay, thing. okay, I like fancy. that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, fancy, but no, it's sweet. For me, it's too sweet. Too sweet. Okay. Yeah, I, I can really feel the sweetness in this. And uh, again, the previous ones had some sweetness in it, but you know, when it's not too strong, I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. In this case, no, no. I feel like there's mm. like a bit of an earthiness though. Maybe okay. that's what you're, that's what's throwing you off. I get like a old woman living room, old furniture. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. No, don't like it. And you're ready? Sorry. Man, this is a... Uh, well, I'll give a three because I think it's well made, <laughs> at least. <laughs> I like the chocolate tone in it, oh, but I will, again, I will never buy it. All right. Never. Okay, and never. you, Anthony? I'm gonna give this like an 8.5. I think it's sexy. Okay. Yeah, very nice. So Anthony gave an 8.5 for Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme EDP, and Giacomo gave it a three out of 10. Tom Ford, Tom Ford is legit. Man, Tom Ford knows what's up. <laughs> Don't come here, though. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Whoa. This hey is now. interesting. This is an interesting perfume. Okay. I 100% agree. I smelled it and I was like, oh. I don't think we ever smelled something quite like it. 
So it's unique. Wow. It's unique. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is gonna sound very weird. When I first smelt it, what I immediately thought of was, do you guys know those strawberry hard candies that come in, in a wrapper that looks like a strawberry? Yes. Have you ever had that, Giacomo? Okay, My Canada then... must be weird. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no I actually, actually don't. I don't know. It's these hard candies that come in a wrapper and it, it look, you see the seeds of the strawberry and it tastes like this smells. Okay. That was what I first... Wow. Mm. It's, it's, a, it's light though. It's not too strong, at least from what I'm feeling. But it's not as light as the first one. Do you get a strawberry vibe though? Or like some kind of fruit, berry? Yeah, I totally get like the berry vibe. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if I can pick the strawberry in it, but... For, I don't know, for some reason I just, it's strawberry to me. I smell strawberries. <clears throat> it's, okay. it's nice though. There is some uh, sweetness, again, talking about sweetness. Definitely. But it's very nice. It's like cuddling me. It's like a, I'm cuddling with the sweetness. I'm like, I like wow. that. We like that. Like a marshmallow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> can I say something weird again? Mm -hmm. Wow. Smell, <laughs> smell, smell it. <laughs> Smelling it again, this reminds me so much. I don't know if any of you have ever been to a like a hookah bar, hookah place. Like a shisha. What? Yes. Like, yeah. Man. Wow, man, that's so, yes, exactly. It wow. smells like you're smoking a strawberry shisha. That, wow. And it smells like the smoke you blow. I, I love that smell. I, yeah, I totally agree. That That's so true. We're back, Giacomo. We're agreeing again. We're back. <laughs> We need a, you know, some perfumes. <laughs> Do you get that? It's I, very I see unique. It. I see it. I think it's very unique. Wow. Do you guys it's find unique. it sexy? Sexy. I think it's playful. Like that sexy playful, mm -hmm. you know, like a woman or a young woman or older woman who wants to have fun. Wants to have fun. But okay. also she knows what's up at the same time. She so, knows what's up. She uh, knows what's up. Man, I give like a, a 8.5 to this one. Wow. Your highest, it's Giacomo, unique. is your highest so far. That's true. It's, yeah, totally. I like it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. That's my favorite one. So Anthony gave a Lancome La Nuit Tresor EDP, a 9 out of 10, and Giacomo gave it an 8.5. Buy this one, nice. ladies. <laughs> yeah, wow. So how are we feeling, guys? I'm feeling amazing. Rejuvenation of your nose. You can yeah, do some a coffee. coffee. What do you got there, Giacomo? <clears throat> well, Ely? I have a, that's a Ely container, but it's not a Ely coffee. It's a, mm. it's a Sicilian coffee that I love. Damn. Uh, I don't know if I can do advertisement <laughs> of a coffee, but. <laughs> there I'm you ready. go. I'm ready, I hope we keep this streak going. Hmm. No, we did not. Oh, come on, man. I don't think it's as bad as you, as your face says. It's not <laughs> as good as the previous one. I, I grant you that, but... Giacomo, what do you think? Again, I get the citrusy vibe going on in there. And of course, I like it. Maybe I'm, I'm more like a simple person. Like mm. if, if it's a citrusy, that's what I want. I'm easy. Here, I, I can feel citrus and something darker. Mm -hmm. happening mm -hmm. in it so it would be hard for me it's like uh, yin and yang i'm like seeing dark and light i yeah. don't know who would like this mm. that's deep giacomo wow i'm so yin deep man <laughs> after, <laughs> after smelling coffee I, I agree with you i definitely get this is probably the most citrusy floral again it's light but there's something very sharp to it that i'm not really digging maybe that's the darkness that i'm feeling maybe, maybe that, that yeah right yeah there's just something i don't i don't know if i would say darkness but to me it's just mm. like too sharp mm -hmm. or piercing and it's kind that's, of that, that's what you feel like right away right yeah it's like that's, almost like uh, yeah stinging my nose or something like it's at the beginning yeah yeah mm. I don't know, it's not doing anything for me. You don't find it sexy? Definitely not sexy. Mm, okay. No, me neither. It, it smells cheap, if I can say that. It smells cheap, okay. It does, it does, it does, it, a little bit. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to smell this on a, on a woman ever, okay. to be honest. There were others that were way better in this category, so. Mm, generic, right? Yeah, kind of generic. Yes, I, yeah. I agree, yeah. That's yeah. what I... And your mm. ratings? I will go with a six because it's not terrible. It's not amazing. Actually, maybe a 5.5. It's okay. more 5.5. Yeah, yeah six, I, uh, I think I'm going to go around. I'll give it a five. I'm not feeling this one. Okay, so Christian Dior's Miss Dior received a five from Anthony and a 5.5 out of 10 from Giacomo. Damn, Dior, are you slipping? Moving on to fragrance number seven. 
Let's see what you guys think about uh, this one. <clears throat> Ooh, this one is a little red. Looks like it somebody is. kissed it. Ooh. Wow, that's different. It is. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't want to be too bad on this one. <laughs> or maybe I need to smell it a couple of times. It smells like uh, the product for cleaning the floors. Damn. <clears throat> You know, I can kind of see what you mean, but... It's very sharp. It's like a arrow coming at you and you can't, you know, survive it. Oh, it's too yeah. strong. Okay. Just, it just hits you. Yeah, I think it's sophisticated for sure, but it's too strong for me. Okay. Okay. I think I like it a bit more than you, but I can see what you're saying. It has a very, I don't know, it's potent. It has this kind of mm. maybe cleaner vibe. All right. But Cleaner. there's Over. also like a, a sweetness to it, which I like, and it's kind of balancing it. It's very different. It, it is. Maybe some, I don't know, vanilla mm -hmm. in the background. I don't know what that note is, but it's very different than the rest, and it's kind of dark floral. Mm. Interesting. And what I kind of know. a woman wears this fragrance? A bold, very bold yeah, person. Yeah, I, I agree. I was about to say like a badass woman. It's Yeah, I would, I would appreciate somebody wearing it. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's sexy per se. Okay. You know? It has something that interests me. Hmm. I feel like, as you said, bold, badass woman. Yeah. I'm intrigued. That's true. I'm it sparks intrigued. the interest. Mm. Yeah. Let's maybe see. we're not ready for it. Maybe maybe we're just not hip enough for this. We're maybe, not maybe. we're not mature enough it's, for it's this. It's too futuristic. Futuristic. You know what? I like it though. I'm going to give it a 7 cuz it interests me. Okay? And you Giacomo? I was going to say a 6. Okay. Also for the same reasons. It's very interesting, but yeah, doesn't cut the sexy vibe for me. Okay, okay. Well, this is very this, everything that you guys say are very interesting and I mean, you see a very bold and badass woman wearing this fragrance. Let me tell you that this is Rihanna's signature scent and it's her favorite fragrance. Um she can totally wear yes. it like Absolutely. Right? Yes, absolutely. Rihanna is badass as hell. She can <laughs> definitely pull this off. <laughs> right? It's like Beyonce vibe. <laughs> <laughs> so this fragrance was Killian's A Love Don't Be Shy and Anthony gave it a 7 out of 10 and Giacomo a 6 out of 10. I see you, Rihanna. <laughs> as long as it's it's not Ariana Grande. <laughs> you can go while uh. I'm drinking. <clears throat> you have to put that. So ladies, have in mind that these fragrances obviously smell different when they're on skin, but for the means of the video, we don't have enough skin. You don't have enough arms. We don't have enough skin. So take this the results with a grain of salt. salt. We need we need volunteers. Yes. Uh, volunteer maybe subscriber volunteers. Yes. You are invited in our next maybe video. Maybe after COVID. After COVID. <laughs> after after COVID, COVID, ten of you. Let's do mm -hmm. it. There you go. So who wears this one? Madonna? Let's see. Mmm. Ooh. Delicate. <laughs> if if we come from Ariana, uh, Ariana, <laughs> and still Ariana Grande, it's in my mind. <laughs> if we were talking about Rihanna, this this one is shine like a diamond. It's shining like a diamond. Shine Recalling the song, diamond. isn't the song something like that? Yes, shine bright like Sh a diamond. Wow. Yeah. Do you like this, Giacomo? Actually, do. It's a uh, sparkly and mm -hmm. uh, clean and uh, transparent and wow. pure. Yes. That's it. Uh, Goodbye, guys. It was yes. a pleasure. <laughs> Man, that was some poetry right there. Wow. Oh. Do you agree you? or uh, you have... Uh, Man, maybe... I, I completely agree with... What did you say? Pure, transparent, it, delicate? Yeah. And I also get like... Um, it smells very natural to me. Yeah. It's and like, just, um, yeah, pure, like like a white... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no white dresses anymore. I've, no, I've banned myself. A, Band. This is a transparent dress. <laughs> transparent. <It's also. clears throat> well... This is a transparent okay. dress. Wow, wow, you guys are reaching today. All right, sorry, let me... This one is great. <clears throat> I absolutely love this one. Mm -hmm. It Same. smells It smells like I'm in a garden, and it's just very serene, very pure, very natural. Do I need mm. to buy it? I think you should definitely have this in your collection. It's very um pretty. Mm. What do reviewers say? Effervescent. Effervescent. <clears throat> 
Effervescent. I totally agree, man. He has some sort of... He brings me back to some sort of, like, nature. earthiness. Yes. Nature. Nature. <laughs> earthiness, but at the same time, I don't know, like a different planet where everything is fine and everything is great and nature is beautiful. I like that. Uh, ladies, wow. I, I don't I don't know if we need What's to hear happening? any more. Any more. <laughs> just, let's just all go together as a group and buy this fragrance. <laughs> like, buy, wow. <laughs> Hey. It also reminds me of like a, this might sound weird, but like a iced tea. Something like that, like a fruity tea. Okay. I don't know why. Wow. Hit me with your ratings. Man, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll go with, with a 10. With this <laughs> Man, this might be, if not my favorite perfume ever. Ever. Even more than the Dior. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's so, it's something that I never smelled in, in its simplicity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wow. Okay, right. I think this deserves a 10. I feel like I want if a girl was wearing this I just want to be like on her neck like is that yeah, weird? Sorry like, <laughs> like harassment, but <laughs> worth it. No harassment no here, harassment. but I just somebody want you know somebody you know somebody I know I just want to get close to them and yeah. just be like Oh, wow, you smell beautiful. Amazing. Mm, and I just wow, want to say, it. I want to say, I have tried this fragrance once before at Macy's and, and a lady was running behind me throughout the entire store to ask me what I'm wearing. <laughs> really? So, <laughs> I'm telling you. What's this? I need to know. What I is this? Know. Tell us. So, this one is Bulgari's Omnia Coral EDT. Mmm, Coral. <laughs> okay. And it got 10 out of 10 from both of Man. these guys. So beautiful. Wow. So let's all go together and get this fragrance today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> go, go spend them racks. <laughs> spend your money. <laughs> guys, you just, with these comments about the previous fragrance, my appetite is up and running. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm still high. <laughs> Without further ado, number nine, por favor. Amazing. Por favore. Whoa, this per, one is... Per favore. Per favore. Per favore. This is very dark. Mm. Whoa. Man, I have old, to change it up. The old ladies back. Old ladies are back. Okay. Classy, Whoa. classy old ladies. Classy old ladies. I think I know what you don't like, Giacomo. Is it similar to the other one that I was kind of giving like a um, furniture vibe? Yes, and, yes, uh, old yes. Old grandma? What's, yeah, they what's, have... They, What's I'm not gonna song? I'm not gonna tell you, but they have something similar in there. I, I can see similarities as well. Right? Yes. Mm. This is like even more ballsy though. This is mm. like balls to the wall. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> did I hear right what you just said? This is like on, on, on wow. the wall. Must, <laughs> that must hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, oh we, we gotta get back to Earth now. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, there's something familiar to it, and I I don't know how to name it. It has a specific name though. What I'm smelling, and maybe you're you'll be able to pick it after half of a second. You feel this powdery thing, which is interesting, but I don't I don't love it. Like the previous one was so perfect. If that was why this one is like. Like black. Uh, purple, black. Uh, yeah, this is especially um, coming from the last one. This is like polar opposite. Mm. Yes, it's very dark. Gothic. I, I get like a dark yeah. floral, like like maybe this one is. I didn't say woody for any of them. I don't associate woodiness with female perfumes, but I feel like this has some kind of like dark floral woodiness. Mm -hmm. It's classy, as Giacomo said. Do you dark. get the powdery thing? Yes, I do get it's. It's also right. powdery. Mm. Do you um, get any rose in there? Maybe, mm. but very dark. Mm. Okay. Dark rose. I don't know. Black roses. Black roses. Purple roses. It's quite masculine. I definitely uh, yeah, see that. That's what I was going to say. Is it for men? Is it unisex? Maybe. It's a female fragrance, but I can definitely see a guy wearing this fragrance as well. I'll, I'll give it points for... I could see a, a, a more mature, classy woman pulling this yeah. off, mm -hmm. but I don't think a, a lot of people can pull this off, to yeah. be honest. It's like, it's pretty daring. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's it's a, like a date perfume or more like an office perfume? Mm. I think neither, because it's just too bold. I think it would be right. more of like a formal dinner, not date where you're trying to like invite the person in and seduce them. 
Mm, it's, true. I don't know. Maybe formal yeah, it's dinner. It's not inviting. That's the thing. This perfume is not inviting. That's okay. what I was looking for. And what are your ratings, guys? I give a, I give a five. Five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a. It's not terrible. It's very interesting. So because of that, I'm gonna give it a six. All right. So Lancome's Oud Bouquet EDP received a six from Anthony and a five from Giacomo. So guys, we only have one fragrance left for today's video. And before we finish, I just want to say thank you to both of you, Giacomo and Anthony, for doing this video with me today. I know we tried so many times to get this happen and the right. mouse between us is not the easiest thing, but we made it and... I'll, I'll touch you virtually. Uh, Ella, <laughs> let's you. do it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ah, wow, I can feel your energy. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna look, but we'll try it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yes. Two hands. <laughs> and without making everybody wait, let's go to number 10 fragrance. There you go. It's the finale. The finale. Hmm. Mixed feelings. Mm. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm gonna say. Boring. Really? Boring. Okay. How, how do you feel, Giacomo? I don't know about this one. Same. Yeah, it's not it's not sparkling. It's not effervescent. It's not it's not effervescent enough for me. <laughs> Let me Google synonyms for effervescent. <laughs> so I, it's not I, compelling. It's not, it's not terrible. Compelling, wow. Man, I'm losing my perfect English accent as you can see, unfortunately. <laughs> wow. What can you do? It's not terrible. It's not terrible. As you said, it might be a little boring. Uh, I think it's very hard to find something that it's not overpowering, like some perfumes that we had, and something that it's kind of simple, but not sophisticated. Right. Right. This one, it's simple, and yet it doesn't... I'm not curious, you mm. know, to... Like, if I smell this on a woman, I might not be, like, uh, curious about her mm -hmm. if you know yeah i completely if that, agree if that makes sense yeah no i think what we're trying to say is it's pretty generic isn't it yeah i i feel like i've smelt like this kind of category of perfume in other videos and i always it always just reminds me of the mall it's just one of those like classic boring generic perfumes it's a little fruity mm -hmm. it's a little floral it has they yeah. always have this sugary sweetness too yes that it just kind of yeah. makes everything smell the same. It's just kind of run of the mill, not exciting. Like the, the mm. Bulgari one was so simple, <laughs> but like incredible. Oh, yeah. This is mm. so simple, but it does nothing for me. Okay. I, well, think, I think generic really yeah. does it for it. Yeah. Yeah. Gen generic, yeah. It's very interesting mm. to hear that from you guys because mm. when this fragrance came out it was insanely popular and it is until today very very popular every woman on the street wore this fragrance everybody there you go everyone so now we kind of lost the spark that it mm. used to have but it's interesting to hear your opinion guys because i mean you don't know what you're smelling so it's something new and yet you yeah. find it generic i i can see like a lot of girls wearing this mm -hmm. if you are wearing perfumes because you want to feel beautiful or bold or you want to feel something specific yeah. this is not the perfume i think mm. yeah and your ratings i'll give a 5.5 for this one 5.5 mm. and you anthony i mean i like it I, I feel like we like bad talked it so much but i'm gonna go seven it's just like one of those run-of-the-mill very nice but nothing safe. nothing about it safe mm -hmm. yeah safe so safe. safe totally all right so anthony gave lancome's la vie belle edp a 7 out of 10 and giacomo gave it a 5.5 out of 10. sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right ladies it's time to get down to business if you want to be entered to win the 50 dollars gift card for fragrance decant boutique which worldwide is worldwide by the way Wow. All you have to do is subscribe to this lovely lady's channel. She deserves it. She's going to be putting out more banger videos. You need to give her a thumbs up. And Giacomo, tell them what the most important thing is. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below. Very important. Absolutely. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.